Good morning everybody and welcome back to another video. We are in Uste today, near Zurich to be exact, and we're visiting Trau Motorsport today. And we have some very very special cars inside here and we're going to take a look at one specific car today. So let's go inside and check out what cars we have. We are at Trau Motorsports right now and this is so much more than just your average mechanic. This is a complete dreamland right here. They're doing complete restorations of Porsches as we can just see. Over here we have a 911 SC and the interior is completely redone. Looks absolutely immaculate. And they are currently doing the interior of this 964 here as you can tell completely everything is out going to be rebuilt and over here with another 911 completely rebuilt the interior i'm not sure if you're able to see it's kind of hard but beautiful beautiful interior just so well done then next to the beautiful 911 we have a ferrari dino in this beautiful ferrari red interesting is that the engine is built in sideways. This is an interesting fact about the Dino. But what we're really here for is this. This is the new Stratos. We're going to take this car out now and I will be able to give you a brief look at some of the details and the story behind this car. Because this is more than just a car. The story and the effort that got into building this car is just inspiring. And I might be able to take it for a spin, but let's see how it goes. Let's start it up. All right, so this is the new Stratos. I feel incredibly fortunate and I cannot describe how happy I am to see this car and to be able to show it to you guys in today's video. I think everyone who loves cars and loves motorsport knows the Lancia Stratos from the 1970s. The car was built just to win rally championships and this is what it did. From 1974 to 1979 the Lancia Stratos HF back then won four rally championships. And today, 40 years later, we have the new Stratos. But let's talk about the story of how this car got into life again. So in 2008, a car collector and driver wanted to rebuild the Stratos as a one-off, together with his son. They worked closely together with Pininfarina in Italy and they started to work on this project together. But you can probably only imagine how hard it was to design and build a car that was able to be named as a follower of the Lancia Stratos HF. The plan of Mr. Shoshek was then to keep some of the key design features of the previous Lancia Stratos and to combine it and include it in the new Stratos. So there are a few key design factors which got adapted from the original Stratos, such as the front cooling system here, the front window, also we have the roof spoiler and the roof as well, and of course the iconic rear lights of the Stratos, as well as the five star rims. These are the parts and the key design features that got adapted from the original Stratos to the model we see right here. However, two years later, in 2010, the new Stratos was born and got presented in Italy. At the presentation of the new Stratos in 2010, everyone loved this car. But the main question was, will there ever be a production line of the Stratos? 
Well, it took seven years until 2017 where the rights of the Stratos got handed over to Manufattura Automobili Torino. These guys are incredible and they presented that there will be 25 units of the new Stratos to be built. They have worked on the SCG003 which got a pole position at the 24 hour race at the Nürburgring. They have also developed the Apollo IE which made a huge appearance on the entire world this year and they also helped by building the Devil 16 which I will put a picture in right now probably hear more about that in the near future. Right now there are already a few customer cars delivered but this car right here is basically chassis number zero. This is the first car they've built in Torino. I'm just so honored to be able to film this here for you today. Now how is this car possible? Basically this car is based on a Ferrari 430. If you would like to be a future owner of a Stratos, you will need to bring your own Ferrari 430 Scuderia to Torino. They will then completely rebuild the car as it just sits here. There are only a few components which are still from Ferrari such as the climate system on the inside of the car as well as the rear lights. The rear lights are actually from a Ferrari 599. So this is super interesting how this car got developed and put together as it just sits here right now. The chassis of the Ferrari 430 Scuderia got then shortened by 20 centimeters. Now another thing that got adapted from the Ferrari 430 Scuderia is the engine. We have a 4.3 liter V8 naturally aspirated and the Ferrari 430 Scuderia had 510 brake horsepower. They have raised it to 540 horsepower. But I'm going to talk to you about these specs as soon as we get into the car and take it for a drive. The color scheme of the car is also from a original Lancia Stratos HF, a Group 4 car and the color is called Bleu together with these yellow bright wheels here but in my opinion they look really really nice and together with the bodywork just look at these lines the emotions this car awakes is just intense I mean just by looking at these wheel arches here the way they go over and through the entire front part of the car into bonnet together with these rear mirrors here, just look at the design features. This is just so crazy. So they took the Ferrari 430 Scuderia as a base car to this, but the car got a complete new suspension. So the driving abilities are completely different. It's super agile, but I will probably experience that very soon. And another interesting thing is that the exhaust system of the Stratos got completely designed and developed just for this car by Capristo in Germany. So I just told you we have 540 brake horsepower in the new Stratos, but you probably wonder how much weight does this car has. So the Ferrari 430 Scuderia had 1400 kilograms, which is super light, but this car has only 1250 kilograms. So they managed to save 150 kilograms from a lightweight Ferrari that is just full carbon fiber dream. So how did they manage to lose this much weight? First of all, this is a full carbon fiber body, minus 80 kilograms. Then we have a super thin front window, another 18 kilograms. Then if we head inside then, we can see these super light seats, which they've also managed to lose another 12 kilograms. The battery is in a full carbon fiber case, with which they've also managed to lose another eight kilograms. And of course, with the, for this car developed exhaust system from Capristo, they managed to lose another 20 kilograms. Now, another really cool thing that got adapted from the original Lancia Stratos is this part here for your helmet. We have it on this side and on the other side as well and that is just from the rally jeans this car really has. Another thing that got adapted from the original Stratos is the mid-engine sitting just behind the driver 
and with all these components they managed to get the weight to the front a bit more so that should help with your driving abilities as well if we check the interior then as i said we have this super thin seats full carbon fiber interior really naked here but this is how to lose weight i love the steering wheel the pedals got adapted from the ferrari 430 scuderia as well full carbon fiber pedals and all these instruments and displays are also newly made here in the center we have this badge i'm not sure if you can tell we have proto 00x so this is not a client's car this is just for presentations and this is another thing that makes it really really special so i think i told you the most important facts about the beautiful stratos if you want to know more check out my blog i will do a full blog and covering all the information about trial motorsport as well as the new stratos but right now i am just waiting to get going and take it for a drive cannot describe in words how crazy this is Six-gear transmission in this car, as you can tell, the pedals are from the Ferrari 430 Scuderia adapted, and just driving the first meters here with the harnesses, the feeling I, I cannot describe how incredibly nice the sound is at first, but also just driving here, very gentle, very smooth, just cruising. But the car is just I can al I can already feel that. The car is, is so agile and I'm speechless right now. You feel every stone on the street. The car is so low. We have a super short wheelbase as well. That is really interesting, but the car is quite wide. It's almost two meters wide, 4.1 meters long. This is a dream. The visibility is also super nice actually. We have this big window here, we're able to see a lot. And another thing I noticed is the gears, the car shifts gears so quick. 60 milliseconds to shift gears is incredible. The car runs from 0 to 100 in 3.3 seconds and I'm just easily touching the throttle right now and I can already feel that this car has lots of power. And the handling is great as well, the steering is super comfortable. Of course it's quite hard but so nice.
right guys and that is basically it for today's video with the Stratos what an incredible day for me driving this really really impressive and inspiring car quick correction this car is based on a Ferrari 430 not on the Scuderia because as a client you can choose if you wish to have the base car as a Ferrari 430 standard or as a Scuderia so this car is based on the standard 430 but still has 500 horsepower and was so much fun make sure to check out Trau Motorsport these guys are incredible and all the cars they have in here have just so much of a history that is it's just so inspiring and uh, I'll see you soon guys.